Hello, friends. Hey, friends. It's October. Yes, I love October. It's my favorite month. Why is that? Um, lots of reasons, but mostly it's the month we got married. Good answer. Good answer. It is the month we got married. <clears throat> and this year... It's 20. It's 20. Not for a while, though. Which is awesome. Because the weather changes and birthday. my birthday's in this month but also just the it's not, harvest not only the feel but the smell yeah <laughs> it's harvest, harvest. Yeah, it's beautiful for, to handicap your odds of hitting 20 this month oh boy it's like 80 percent probable i'll get 20 birds this month but i've already decided i'm gonna sure shoot all the birds that i don't have some of which I should save until November, December. So what you're What's saying is... A bird in the hand is better, better than, than two, two in, in the bush. bush. I'm excited. I am back today at Wood Lake Nature Center. And I was looking. And I think I counted 13 or 14 birds here that I don't yet have photos of. And so that's why I'm here today. Well, one of the things I really like about this park is this boardwalk. It um, really cuts right across the, the lake. And so, there I have just had a ring billed gull diving for fish. I've got both cackling and Canada geese out here. There's an egret out here. A whole bunch of ducks, mallards, wood ducks. It's a nice place and it gives you access to the birds closer than you'd expect. Like here are a pair of cackling geese right here. Which is actually a species I don't have yet this month. Um, you can tell their bills are a little shorter. They're a smaller bird, and their bills are smaller, shorter. Well, it's amazing how much time I can spend just looking at birds. I've already been here for two and a half hours. I've got at least 30 more minutes, even if I just walk straight. Um, but uh, lots and lots of stuff. We'll see if I can get one more good look at that eared grebe that I did, did get some photos of earlier. Um, they're a little more distant than I like, but... Uh, we'll see what they look like on the big screen. Every time I come here though, it's just a really, really enjoyable place. I decided that it would be fun to take a trip north to Duluth. Duluth is on Lake Superior and the thing I've been learning is that as I want to pick up more species, I have to go places where there's different kinds of habitat. And the world's largest freshwater lake is different habitat than what I'm used to walking in. So I'm going to go check that out. And it opens up into a pretty vast, wide area. Lake Superior. So there's a parking lot here. Park Point. Almost the end of the road. But it's hard to watch all these birds flitting around and not stop to look at them. But, that's not my main reason for being here. My main reason for being here is to look at birds on the water. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm just getting started out here, but wow, I'm already struck by the beauty. A pair of ships out there. It's just really cool and really pretty serene. City of Duluth. Um, lots and lots and lots of bird sounds so far. Lots of warblers, yellow rooms. The gulls especially, I don't know them that well. I'm probably not gonna pick out a lot of unique gulls today. I'm just gonna go for a walk. And I would say walk on the beach. I'm still walking on sand right now. There is this trail here and I actually kinda like it. Well, hikes on the sand always take longer than I expected. So here I am at the probably 75 minute mark. And uh, I am still headed out. I haven't turned back around yet. So, a Merlin posed really, really nicely for me. So, I'm seeing lots of the same kind of birds this morning. Beautiful lake. Beautiful, beautiful lake. I'm just very, very still this morning. I had this before, this chickadee right here. 
He's dive bombing me. He's not happy with me for some reason. Maybe word's gotten out that um, I had a chickadee in my car once. He has literally like, come right at me three or four times. I think I'm gonna mostly wrap up here and head toward Park Ridge. Well, I've been here for about 30 or 40 minutes. You can see behind me, that's kind of what it looks like. And really we're all just kind of looking, mostly north, but a little north and east. Uh, and this, so we're along this ridge. And the birds, especially the little ones, they come flying up over the, in fact there's one coming right, right over my head here. Most people are here to look for hawk, eagle, and falcons. Palm warbler though, nicely posed. But what I'm actually finding is the little birds actually come and sit down. Um, kind of a whole bunch of them. Well, it really was fun on Hawk Ridge. I did not see a lot I haven't already seen, but I did see a, a number of sharp fin hawks, like probably 20 or 30. As I was leaving there earlier than I expected, I thought, well, gosh, maybe I can look for one more thing into Harpers, which is 20-ish minutes north of Duluth, so I'm going the wrong way. There's a bird here that I will not be likely to get anywhere else. So hopefully it's here, and if so, I'll hopefully be able to share it with you. Well, I think I got a couple of birds today. I uh, just found a Ross's goose. And now I found a thrush. I am off to Big Marine Regional Park. It's a Washington County Park. And I am looking for a red-necked grebe this morning. I just had a really, really cool experience. I went by a place I had been before. Um, there was a surf scoter reported there, and I've never seen any sort of scoter before because they are sea ducks. Uh, but once in a while they migrate through, and around here in Minnesota, they are sometimes known for spending a little bit of time on Lake Superior as they migrate through. I was able to get quite close to them. It's a really interesting looking uh, seabird. There was also a canvas back by them. I don't have a canvas back for my project yet this year. It was really cool. Wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna go to a nature center that I haven't been to for probably six months. I'm going to look for a couple of different types of sparrows. That's my game plan. So let's go do it together. Right? Well, I've heard multiple winter renders. I've never seen one before. One of them was hidden behind a whole bunch of branches and the other was moving too fast for me. So. Uh, and by the time I got to the one behind branches, no luck. So I'm going to move on. I'm a little bummed about that because I wanted that bird. Hopefully, I will find more today. Winter Wren. It is a little, little bird. Quite brown, fairly plain. Let's see if I can get it for you. Well, I've said it a lot. I really love, <laughs> excuse me, I love the mornings. And I really love fall days, this cool, crisp, lots of bird activity, lots of bird sound this morning, but it's just a beautiful time to be out walking. So glad I could bring all of you with. So I just saw American Coots. I was here a week ago and there were lots of other ducks. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if we'll see them today. We got a nut hatch up here, white breasted nut hatch, practically over my head. Um, here's another view of the lake that I'm at. This is the east Bad News Lake. There's a west here that we'll be able to see in just a minute. It's a high-pitched chip, chip, kind of chip, chip. And uh, cardinals make a really high-pitched call, but I think this is more, I think it's a yellow run door, but I see it kind of flitting around almost like a flycatcher. The yellow rum's gonna do that. Oh, what's that? Is that a blue jay? Just went and sat kind of right above me. Yeah, it's a blue jay. Oh, right behind me. 
pair of curtains. I think the last time I was here, I had a cardinal that was really, really friendly. Yep, that's the high-pitched noise I was talking about, actually. You guys are right there. Thanks for the demonstration. They are just, they're striking birds. It's fun to just be out because when you're out, you see things. I was just walking along and I took a photograph of a muskrat and a woman asked what that was. And I said, a muskrat. And she said, oh, because I just saw, I think six of them cross the path down there. And I thought, six muskrats all together this time of year? And I said, well, did they have kind of a hump in their back when they were walking? And she's like, yeah, they did. And I said, no, those would be otters. And sure enough, as I'm talking to her, I see them starting to surface. So they're right here. So they're swimming. They're not swimming that quickly. They're kind of swimming and eating at the same time. So otters usually like running water streams more than lakes, but um, this, this has a current through it, this lake does. And uh, there's an outlet up here and that is where they're headed. And so let's see if we can get, I have some photos, a little bit of video. Let's see ones though, up here, there are some rocks and things. Let's see if they show themselves a little bit more. Well, I am hoping, I'm hoping to see them. I'm hoping to see the otters, you can see down here. I'm hoping to see them come here. If they do, I should have enough time to get down toward water level and get them swimming through this channel. I will be excited if they come this way though. It's one thing I've learned over time, chasing animals, you don't want to chase them. You want to anticipate where they're going and get ahead of them. And sometimes you get it wrong. But the more you do it, the better chance you have of getting it right. Did not have success on my River Otter Stakeout. Probably spent uh, 20 minutes kind of waiting there for them. Um, that would have been enough time had they kept the same pace. In the last few birds in October, I caught while I was going to and from some other commitments. Uh, the first one was a Lapland Longspur, and I did find that in New Auburn, where I found lots and lots of other birds. Uh, the second bird I found in Gaylord, uh, and that it was a white-fronted goose, a bird I had seen a couple of times over the course of the year, but hadn't gotten photos of. And the last one's a Wilson snipe, and I saw that in a couple of places, uh, Broughton, Winthrop, a few more. And um, that those photos aren't great, but I really, it's just a really interesting looking bird. And so I wanted to share it with all of you. Well, it is mid-November already, and I have not been out once this month. Just a number of things has kept me away. My goal for the year was to find 20 new birds every single month. Um, I've had a couple of reasons why I just couldn't be out the last two weeks, but I'm still out pursuing birds. So I did find six more birds throughout November and December to get me to 200 total. Um, the first two I found actually are very, very similar, a lesser scalp and a greater scalp. The lesser scalp has a little bit more of a peaked head, a little bit more of a narrower bill. The, the greater scalp I have is a, is a female. But um, So uh, those are the first two birds I found in November. Uh, the next bird I found was a red-breasted nuthatch. I had seen it in January and February. It's a really small bird. It uh, stays up high a lot of times, uh, a little skittish. Uh, and so I finally got some decent photos of it in November. And so, um, but it's a, it's a nice little bird and it's got a very distinctive call as well. Hey friends, well, I did have a chance to see a couple of things today. And um, I saw a tundra swan heard them and a tundra swan looks very much like a trumpeter swan. They're both similar size. They're both mostly white. Um, the one little difference is that the tundra swans have a little bit of yellow on their beak. So hopefully you can see that in the photos. And then the other bird I saw today was a long-tailed duck. I did get a few shots of it. I don't know how great the photos are, but I'm going to probably use it no matter what because it is a, a rare bird uh, here in the Twin Cities. Usually you can see them off the, off the shore of Lake Superior. I know they're pretty prevalent in uh, Alaska. I'm not sure about along the coast, but they are a great looking duck in my opinion. It's a long-tailed duck. So thanks for coming with me. Hope you enjoy what we found. 
Uh, and then the last bird is American black duck. It's a bird that was around a bunch and I never did see it. And I always wondered if I saw it and didn't recognize it because it was so similar to a mallard. But once I saw them, um, it was really clear to me that that was the first time I'd seen it. So it took me the whole year to get to it. Um, I saw it in uh, mid to late November. And then of course I saw it in a couple places. It's kind of weird how that all works. But uh, so that was uh, really enjoyable. And that wraps up my project for 2022. So that was a pretty strong crash course in photography and birding and the spot spaces around me here in Minnesota and really quite enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did. It just certainly was a delight for me. And so thanks again for coming along on our journey in 2022 folks. And um, really looking forward to uh, what comes next. Oh, I saw a...